Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are learning about Guidance Steering by Wopster, that mod everyone knows and loves as GPS. Now it's actually a pretty simple mod to use and it's a great mod to use, especially if you want to maximize your tool width and do things as efficiently as possible, much like your workers do when they're doing it the right way, which we know isn't that often, but still you get the point. Anyway. GPS is a very, very popular mod. I know a lot of people use it, but we've always got new players coming in all the time. And I love the new players because they keep this game moving forward. So what do we do? Well, once you've got GPS installed, how do you get it? Well, that's pretty simple. You go to the store and when you purchase your tractor, any tractor will do. We'll just use this first John Deere right here. You will notice in the options, that you have a global positioning system, $15,000, and you can add that to pretty much any vehicle you come across. Not too much of a challenge. It is 15 grand though. I don't know about you, but sometimes that extra 15 grand is more than I can afford, but still, it's definitely worth having. You can also upgrade any tractor already on your farm and just add GPS to it for 15 grand. So, that's how you get gps on your vehicle now once you have it on your vehicle what are you going to do well i just happen to have a lovely case magnum sitting right here in front of me that already has gps installed now a brief tutorial for those maybe younger players or people who don't quite know cardinal direction very well cardinal direction is north south east and west that's what they mean when they talk about cardinal direction but to use GPS with cardinal direction, you need to know how that translates into numbers. And it's pretty simple. If you look at this graphic, north is either 360 or zero. And that's always in degrees. So 360 degrees or zero degrees. East is 90 degrees. South is 180 degrees. And west is 270 degrees. And you can break that down at any angle in between. So say you wanted to go northeast, a due northeast, that would be 45 degrees. And one other thing to note about Farming Simulator 19, if we look at the map, it is always set up north, south, east, and west. The maps are always set that way. So this would be 360 or 0, 90, 180, or 270 and if we look at our position on the map right now we are facing due north with that said we're gonna fire up our tractor and you will note that on the side of my screen to the right hand side at the top there is what looks to be uh, some almost like some sheets of paper stacked on top of each other that is a row counter the next one down is kind of a, a satellite beacon it's, it's an activation, and the bottom one is steering. Right now that steering is telling us that we are pointing at 357.6 degrees. So we are not perfectly aligned due north, but we're close enough for government work because GPS is gonna sort that out for us. Now, how do we get this working? Well, you're gonna hold left alt and hit C, and you'll notice that the satellite icon on the right side of the screen turns green. Now we have GPS active. Hold control and hit S, left control and hit S, and that's gonna open up your GPS menu. Now the first thing that we wanna do is set GPS to show lines to on so that we can see what we're doing. We want to set auto width, and this is gonna set the width of our tool now this is not exactly correct because it just is, because I'm not lined up perfectly it's telling me I have an offset of 1.38 feet I'm going to adjust that offset to zero feet like so now I've got a perfect alignment or what I need it to be I don't want the offset I don't want it to assume that I'm trying to work in a way that I'm not there might come a time when you need an offset, but 95% of the time you'll never need it. So, once we've got that set, again, show your lines, set your auto width, make sure you have no offset, and 
we switch to this menu, we can see that we have two different methods of setting up our line. We've got the AB method and we've got the A plus heading method. We're going to start with the A plus heading method. This is how we set up with cardinal direction. So if I click on sit A, set A, <laughs> I can't speak today. Um, it's asking the desired cardinal or the degrees. And so right now we're set to zero as we know from our graphic that was due north or we could set it to 360. It's the same thing. So I'm gonna set a cardinal of 360 back out of my menu. And if now I hit Alt X, if I look at the right hand side, that steering wheel icon lights up, that means that GPS is ready to take control. And if I move just a little bit, now it's going to show me the lines that my tractor is going to follow. The white line down the center, that is the GPS path that we are following. The lines to the right and left, the yellow lines, those are showing me my tool width. Now, I am overhanging the field just a little bit, but that's not going to matter after the first path anyway. You can try to line up a little bit better to get started if you'd like, but this is a tutorial, so we're just going to go with what we've got. Now, the minute I activate GPS, and again, that's Alt-X, you can see that that white line turns green, and that lets me know that GPS has taken over. All I have to do now is lower my tool, hit my cruise control button, which for me is 3, and GPS is driving this tractor. It's taking me straight down the field and it will not swerve to the left or right, it will take a perfect path. If we look inside, we can see we're running right down this track, no problem whatsoever. And if you're paying close attention right now, you can see that GPS is even turning the steering wheel just a little bit to compensate for any ground effects. Like so. Now, as we come down to the end of the field, what else do you need to know at this point? Well, GPS is active. When you're ready to turn it off, all you need to do is steer. Turn, hit the brakes, anything, and that will stop GPS. And you saw the steering wheel go from green to white. And to pick up your next track, all you have to do is turn around. GPS is now tracking you on this field. And it's shifting you. Shifting the track as you turn. And we can see we've got our next track. Our left line is lined up perfectly. Our white line is down the middle. We hit Alt-X again to turn GPS back on. Hit our cruise control. And away we go. Right back down the field and you'll notice this is lined up exactly to the tool width, taking advantage of every square foot or every linear foot or every what foot you want it to be. Now you also notice on the top right or on the right side of my screen that top button or top display that is a counter and that's telling you how far from your first pass you are. So we are on plus one. Now, you're going to say, well, not every field is lined up perfectly north, south, east, or west. And God knows that's absolutely true. So we're going to shut down GPS here. And I picked this field for a reason. And I'll tell you why. Because the other end of this field is not set up north, south, east, or west. It's set up at a different angle. A slightly different angle, but still not perfect. So, when I can't use Cardinal, what do I do? Well, GPS has you covered. And we're going to get just lined up right here on the edge. So, we can set up for this little bit of an angle also. And how we're going to do that is... Well, I'm going to activate GPS. Holding Alt, hitting C. I'm going to open my menu and make sure that snap terrain angle is still off. My width is still good. It's the same width we used on the other end. But now I need to set this. We were at A plus heading. Now we need the A plus B line method. So I'm going to set A. 
and you can see right there that right below my tractor there's a little green letter A. I'm going to drop down my tool and I'm going to start down this field on my own. You don't have to go far. I'll stop about right there, open my menu again, and hit set B. Close the menu and now we can see. GPS has picked up on the direction that we want to go and it's set a perfect line down for us. So again all we have to do is hit X now to act or Alt X, I'm sorry, to activate GPS again and we start autopilot and her autopilot. <laughs> we hit our cruise control and down the field we go. Again, when you get down to the end of the field, just turn around, reactivate GPS, hit cruise control, and you are good to go. And I've just done a quick turnaround. So, don't let anybody fool you. GPS is not difficult to use. Just a few quick steps. You're set up and good to go to use your equipment efficiently. Get your fields plowed, cultivated, harvested, fertilized, seeded, whatever you need to do as efficiently as possible. And you don't even have to steer. So, if you found this video useful, helpful, or entertaining, do me a favor. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I've got many other tutorials, let's plays, and tips on my YouTube channel, so check those out too. I appreciate you coming along for this tutorial on GPS. And until next time, take care.